McDonald's has sold over 300 billion burgers by 2016. That's around 75 hamburgers every second or 13 Big Macs each passing second. So why does the Big Mac work? Welcome. Today, we see why the Big Mac works. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell button, and drop a like. When McDonald's was first started by Richard and Maurice McDonald in 1940, it was to make quick serving meals. Now, nearly 80 years later, any one of their 69 million annual customers can go to one of McDonald's over 37,000 stores around the world to get a 7 element, 540 calories burger, the Big Mac, in under 3 and a half minutes. The cost of a Big Mac varies from $1.60 in Ukraine to $6.80 in Switzerland. For our calculations, let's take the US average of $5.30 per Big Mac. Each of 550 million Big Macs sold in a year have the following costs to their making. 15 cents for the buns, 30 cents for the meat, another 15 cents for the lettuce, onions, pickles and sauce, 10 cents for the peppers, bags and napkins, and finally 17 cents for the drinks. Then once you take a bite, the franchisee makes a dollar and 30 cents from the Big Mac. Unfortunately, the franchisee is responsible for a sum of other costs, including payment for the brand, promotion, and most importantly, 7% of its revenue directly for McDonald's. To become a McDonald's franchisee, restaurants have to pay a somewhat expensive amount of $45,000, which is only $15,000 in the case of Subway. In general, a McDonald's franchisee in the US makes an average of $2.6 million in revenue. Unlike the restaurants, however, the franchisors like Subway get a bigger bite of the burger. The franchisor in our case, McDonald's, gets a clean $0.371 from a Big Mac sale, which calculates to become over $200 million in a year. And that is where the Big Mac works. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.